Andreas, Neil and Uwe, they've asked us about our voice coils and they pointed out that in the past we've had rather large voice coils mm -hmm. and now we're moving towards smaller voice coils. Can you comment on that? Sure. We have correctly been using large voice coils with aluminum wire um, and now we have through console simulations achieved a, a optimum performance with a, just a slightly smaller voice coil. Okay. So it's not like we're going from, from three inch to one inch or even smaller than that, but we have found the right optimum. Can you comment on why we're moving toward that smaller voice coil? And sure. We, uh, we would like to improve our bass performance uh, and to improve your bass performance you need a longer winding height. Okay. And uh, in order to gain that we have used outside magnets instead of inside magnets. And, um, we increase the winding height and hence we increase the period or the, the, the amount of time that the voice coil is within the strong magnetic field in the magnet system. So we can actually get better bass performance and mm. optimal bass performance. And the benefits beside optimal bass performance, what are those of, of using this smaller? It is we can, we can achieve the same resonance frequency uh, with a smaller voice coil but with longer winding height. Okay. So, so it's, it's a matter of pulling in, in your parameters mm -hmm. and we have found the, right, found the right optimum. Yeah, and I guess a lot of this is because we've continuously become smarter and are using these new tools that you sure. talked about. Sure, and we've been using the large voice calls for, for nearly 40 years uh, and driven them to, to a point where we can't really push them any further. That's why we need to, to dig into to new ways of, of, yeah. of achieving the best possible sound.